Jason Bales for Gamer Plus Plus, and um, recently I've, I've decided I want to start looking at all the, the game making tools that are around on the internet, and I downloaded Game Maker 7. Uh, previously, I I'd downloaded Game Maker 5 back when it first came out, and um, only messed with that for a couple days because my antivirus didn't like it. But um, now Game Maker 7 is out, and there seem to be no problems with that. Um, so I'm going to see what I can do about uh, making a retro-style game, just to, to learn how, how things are done. And um, in old games, like uh, NES games, you're, you're going to see uh, tiles and sprites that are, are 16 pixels by 16 pixels. And... Um, I decided the most basic sprite was, or, or rather, tile was bricks. Uh, you see them in buildings and um, grounds and inside buildings and games. And um, they're really not, you, you don't think about them that much whenever you see them in the background. But it takes a little bit of thought in order to um, make decent looking bricks. Um, so here we're going to go over the most basic bricks. Um, and I actually found this out through trial and error but just go ahead and um, open up the image editor and make an image that's 16 pixels by 16 pixels and um, inside the, the image editor we want to, to choose the, the pencil tool get a nice um, color for the left side the left mouse button and um, color for the, the right. I've chosen a brick color and a white. And um, like I said, the, what you're about to see actually took me quite a while to, to figure out. Um, but I'm going to go through it really quickly. The first line of bricks, uh, or rather row of bricks, is going to be two bricks. And there's going to be mortar and brick. Bricks are three pixels tall by seven wide and mortar is one pixel wide. Mortar is just going to be white space so there we have um, seven plus seven plus two is sixteen. Um, I know it's basic math but it took me a long time to figure that out for some reason. Um, right below it we have a brick, which being a tiled image will carry through to the other side. So when we place them by, side by side, that is going to be one brick, seven pixels wide. And put in our second brick. And then for the third row, we just sort of repeat what we did on the top. Um, having a little trouble with the mouse here. Go ahead and make a brick that's seven pixels wide, three pixels tall. Put in some mortar. And then again, we copy this row right down here. done. Go ahead and click the OK and OK, OK, and then you can start placing that within um, a room. You have to create a room, but you can find all that within the help files for for Game Maker 7. Um, yeah, just go ahead and lay out your bricks and they look really nice and tiled in the, in the final game, which um, for some reason, I can't capture with with Cam Studio right now, but those do look really nice up next to each other and tile, uh, tile um, vertically and horizontally really well without any gaps or partial bricks. Um, anyway, that's it for the first uh, video on on pixeling.